inside the metro, inside the metro. Yeah, look at outside. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> my goodness. Shalom, call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, that's giving all praise to the Most High. In the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, double honors to our teachers, the elders, and apostles of the Great Millstone, who taught us His truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon Camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And real quick, I got a quick update. Okay, it says rain in Dubai and flood today. Okay, and what you're seeing right here is a flood. Somebody got their windshield wipers on as their car is underwater. All right, this is a flood that's going on in Dubai, you know, which this is, a, you know, where everybody, all these celebrities go to vacay and, you know, to spend money and, you know, um, enjoy themselves. And this place is underwater. All right, you saw the planes trying to leave and it was, you know, they was, you know, getting stuck in that water. But this right here is a sign from Yahweh Bajim Yahushai. The Lord is showing us a lot of signs in these last days of what's to come. You know, it kind of reminds me of that movie, um, that movie uh, 2012 or Geostorm, where all these natural disasters were, you know, on uh, another level. All right, and this is the times that we are in. This is the Lord showing us signs in the earth of what's to come. This is only going to get worse as time goes on. And this is why Yahweh Bajim Yahushai has to be feared, man. All right. Let me go into this comment board, right? I mean, to this uh, story, it says, developing Dubai underwater influencers are stranded in the Rolls Royce and flooded roads as skies turn black in apocalyptic scene as storm hits the region. All right, so you got influencers over there, you know, and they're stranded in the Rolls Royces. So imagine being in a Rolls Royce, a Rolls Royce and being stranded, man. All right, that shows you that when, when when the Lord says don't move, nobody can move. And this is the time that we're coming into where the whole world is going to is, is going to stop. You're not going to be able to go about your daily life and join, you know, the, the folly and the mirth uh, uh, of this place anymore, man. All right. And this is happening all over the world with floods, you know, storms, earthquakes, uh, you know, volcano eruptions. All these things are happening and it's going to increase as days goes on. It says more than 4.7 inches to 120 millimeters of rain has already fallen today. The typical yearly average in, in, in the city. So, and, you know, Dubai is pretty much a damn desert. So that much rain, a, a, a year and a half worth of rain has fallen in one day. It says with more expected to, to in, in coming hours. So it's going to be more rain. Nearly 50 flights in and out of Dubai have been canceled since this morning with shocking video showing several jets cutting through murky water at a Dubai International Airport, the busiest for uh, international travel because people are trying to get the hell up out of there. <clears throat> it says flood water uh, cascaded through luxury underground malls, they got underground malls, while shoppers and Designer clothes, clothes waded through water. Wow. And then, like I said, this is where all, where all the money at, okay? You got shoppers and designer clothes were wading through water. It says, above ground, howling winds blew furniture off uh, tower block balconies while the skies turned black with apocalyptic videos showing lightning strikes very few, uh, every few seconds. So they keep saying apocalyptic, okay? Because we are in some very apocalyptic times. We're coming into the end of this place. It says unstable weather conditions are expected to continue in the region through through to Wednesday. Uh, EA, uh, UAE's National Center for uh, Meteorology said, right? So it's only going to go on and, and, and increase. But it shows you that Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is definitely, you know, doing these things in the earth. And that's why you should fear Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Get right with Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. They're saying the time to be bullshit and thinking everything is a joke in the game because, hey, bro, this is, about, this, is, this is about to get ugly out here. And with that, we pray the Lord have mercy upon us. <clears throat> Let me go here. It says, um, Isaiah 29, verse 6, Thou shalt be visited of Yahweh of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise and storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. And this is how the Lord is visiting this place. 
or he's visiting these nations, you know, these heathens and even our people with, uh, you know, thunder and with earthquake and great noise and with storm and tempest and flame of devouring fire. All right. And these things are only going to increase in these last days. All right. They're only going to increase in these last days. This is Psalm chapter 83 verse uh 15 it says so persecute them with thy with thy tempest and make them afraid with thy storm fill their faces with shame that they may seek thy name o yahweh right so the lord's going to fill your faces with shame because these people are proud they're arrogant you can't tell them nothing you know they they they, they think that they got it all figured out that the life is 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 is, is you know golden well guess what you're going to find out that uh, the, the Lord is upset with this place. And if you ain't serving Yahweh Bashem, he's upset with you too. It says, let them be confounded and troubled forever. Yeah, let them be put to shame and perish. And a lot of people are about to perish. That men may know that thou, whose name alone is Yahweh, art the most high over all the earth. So you, everybody going to know who the true God of the Bible is very soon. All right. And like I said, these people go there and they, uh, you know, they, they in a the spirit of mirth. All right, which is not the spirit to be in. We ain't in a time of mirth. We ain't in a time of enjoying ourselves and having a good time. You know, this is a time to be, you know, circumspect, you know, being prudent. It says uh, Luke chapter 21, verse, um, verse 25. It says um, in the NLT, and there will be strange, then there will be strange signs in the sun, moon, and stars, and here on earth with it's lucky and here on earth the nations will be t in turmoil perplexed by the roaring seas and strange tides people will be terrified at what they see coming upon the earth and that's the time we end okay people are people are, are terrified for what they're seeing come happen on the earth you know you could be you know in, in your three-story apartment and next thing you know you're seeing flood waters you know, uh, 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 you know, outside your window and stuff, man. This is the Lord doing this. Okay. It says, for the powers in the heavens will be shaken. You see? And these these devils, they, they, they know that their time is up. They know their time is up. All right, let me see if I can grab this real quick. These devils know their time is up, man. And this is why we got to get closer to your whole and y'all shine more than ever. You know, take the Lord seriously. The Lord is not a joke, man. All right. Let me see what we got. Let's go back here. It says, Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 2. It says, It is better to go into the house of mourning than to go into the house of feasting, for that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. Right. You got to lay this to your heart, to your mind, man, because you got to think. People out here trying to enjoy themselves and have a good time, they're going to find themselves in a lot of trouble. It says, Sorrow is better than laughter, for by sadness the countenance of the heart is made better. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. And we're the ones that are the house of wise because we are in the house of mourning. You know, we, we, we are, you know, cry, crying aloud and sparing, not telling you this word. Letting you know that Yahweh Bashim is about to bring great death and destruction upon this place. While everybody else is in the house of mirth, trying to party club, you know, uh, uh, you know, turn up, you know, uh, you know, enjoy themselves, man, really. Saying the time for that, all right? We're going to have, have, have our turn, turn to have mirth and joy and happiness in our kingdom, okay? But we are at the end of this man's kingdom. It says, it is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools. For the crackling of thorns under a pot, so is the laughter of the fool. All, this also is vanity, and we see... You know, a bunch of people, they, they you know, they, they just think everything is a joke. Everything is a game. It's all it, it's all a bunch of, you know, folly and bullshit, man. Well, with the time we're coming into, the Lord's going to make it known who he's dealing with. All right. And who he's not dealing with. It says, surely oppression maketh the wise man mad and a gift destroyeth the heart. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. And these people that are here in America, they're very proud. Okay, you can't tell them nothing, but the patient in the spirit is better than the proud in spirit, you know, which was with patience goes into suffering. And we're suffering. All right. Um let me see. It says Psalm chapter 119, verse 126. 
It is time for the Yahweh to work, for they have made void thy laws. So the Lord's about to work in this earth, bringing great death, destruction, chaos, okay, turmoil, um, you know, disaster. And with that, a lot of people are going to be, you know, uh, destroyed, okay, devoured up in, 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 in these, um, you know, apocalyptic scenarios and scenes, man. All right. And every moment of every day, something since, you know, some, something's going on and massive, massive amounts of people are being, you know, taken back to, to the spirit world. All right. So I can grab this. I mean, because we in this time, man, it says Psalms 66 verse five, come and see the works of the most high. And this is the Lord. That's the work of the most high right there. He is terrible in his doing toward the children of men. So that's a hey, Lord is greatly to be feared, man. If you don't know who the Lord is, you know, you know, and you don't fear him. And you then, then, then these terrible doings are going to come come upon you and, 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 and your house and your family, you know. So really, there's going to be nowhere to run. All right. All these nations are going to go are going are going to be catching hell from y'all. Bashim y'all shy, man. All right. Uh, let me go back here. This is um, Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 23 in the NLT. It says, um, I know, Lord, Yahweh, Shai, that our lives are not our own. We are not able to plan out. It's like we are not able to plan our own course. So correct me, Lord. But please be gentle. Do not correct me in anger, for I would die. And this is the spirit that we got to be in, bro. You know, <laughs> the Lord is about to bring great death and destruction. Scripture says, in wrath, remember mercy. So the Lord is about to bring his wrath, and we want him to remember mercy, okay, when, when, when it comes to us. It says, pour out your wrath on the nations that refuse to acknowledge you. And these nations, they refuse to acknowledge Yahweh Bashim Yahashai. So he's going to pour out his wrath upon them. On the peoples that do not call upon your name. So you got, you know, even it's, uh, Jake's that know the Israelites that's not calling upon the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The Lord says he's going to pour his wrath upon you. It says, for they have devoured your people, Israel. They have be devoured the, cons like they have devoured and consumed them, making the land a desolate wilderness. And these nations all have had a part in our slavery and our captivity. They all have gotten rich off of our backs, including Dubai, okay? <laughs> including Dubai, man, all right? So the Lord is starting to punish these places. And this is why we see things like this happening, all right? I'm praying to get on the floor. I'm praying to edify the group for the Shalom, Kwame Shurala, Ababa Ball.
Yo, look at the outside. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> my goodness. Because my main...